What's up guys, John Game back here for another video and today's video is about Halo Infinite. Now we've been all been hearing about the Halo Infinite since the they showed off the gameplay a couple weeks back. And I and I watched it I watched it about seven times. And I, when I watched the first time I was hyped. And the more and more I watched it, I'm like, okay, it's okay. And then it's okay. And then it just started getting worse and worse from there. And then the backlash they've been having about this and that being this terrible, the clipping and there was lack of gameplay. And yeah, I must admit, yeah, it was pretty lackluster. And then I then the news stories came coming out more and more. Like some recent items recently read, they came out I think about a week, week ago or so or longer. That 343 Studios has been outsourcing to other companies to help with the game Halo Infinite. So, like one company I read, a few former Bungie employees who worked on the original Halos was making, helping 343 make Halo Infinite. And then other companies as well. And what's so weird and odd is that all these I guess outsources, you know, they have in conflict interests, you know. This somebody wants it this way, this studio want these guys want it this way. Bun like, I think Bungie wanted how they saw Halo to keep going as they see fit. And that's one reason why the Halo Infinite looks like shit right now. And another one I just read like one of the de developers of Dream for Three has stated in the article recently read that uh, that the reason that it's like crap and stuff is the 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 Showtime Halo TV series they've been they've been focused on that mainly as well. So it's like Three for Three can't get their shit together. Like they're outsourcing to help make the game. They're, they're, they're focusing on the TV show, you know, so you can't do that, you know, so it's like, come on, focus on the game, focus on Halo Infinite, and then focus on the TV show, okay, day for three, you're fucking things up, you know, this diehard Halo fan since 2001, who's been playing Halo since they were kids, and you're screwing this all up, so... I'm kind of worried because that it's gonna be crap. It's gonna be like another Halo Five, you know. And this open world stuff is not Halo. I'm hearing they're gonna add a battle royale mode and this free to play bullshit for multiplayer. Just come on, make Halo great again. You know, <laughs> that's all I say. Make Halo great again. So we'll see what happens next year. It's been delayed to 2021. So hopefully full 343 Studios can get this shit together. If not, stop making games 343 Studios. You cannot make a single game. Halo 4 is shit. Halo 5 is shit. You fucked up MCC, you know? Like, it keeps crashing every time, you know, you do something. Or you, something happens, or... Can't join a multiplayer or you lag out or stuff like that. Three for three, you fucking cannot make games for shit. Bungie, you need to take Halo back again. I know you don't want. I know you're tired of Halo, but you gotta do Halo again for the for the fans. Because three for three cannot make shit for games. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, three for three can make a good Halo game for once. You know, and not rely on other companies to help them out, but we'll see. And what's hopefully this Halo TV show is good as well. Hope you know, but if their main goal was the TV show, then Infinite's gonna suck balls. But that's just what's going on and what I think. And to next time, guys, keep on gaming. This is Junkie out. Peace.